Hello, I am Justin Semino. I am skinny. I am an artist, actor, brother, lawyer, son. I like math. I have an old soul, I guess. I am from New Jersey. I adore New Jersey. If I got the chance to hug Bruce Springsteen, I would cry more than Chris Christie did. I cannot wait to be a dad. I love pizza. I like being alone. When I was in fifth grade, I tucked my shirt in every day. I'm currently trying to grow a mustache. People always tell me I have a soft voice, but it never sounds soft to me. People sometimes tell me I look like a cartoon, or like one of these things. Someone recently told me I'm genteel, like Abraham Lincoln. I went abroad a year ago, visited six countries, and made sure I got souvenirs for family and friends in every one of them. On the plane home, I realized I had forgotten to get anything for myself. I'm strange to some. I like to play, and I don't care what others say. This can be seen in the following pictures. I was Lil Wayne for Halloween. I tried to draw a tattoo of a stallion on my chest. Sweeney Todd. Animals follow me, sometimes. I love karaoke. Old man dancing on a pole. Special skills. If you were milkshake, and I was milkshake, and I was strong, see? There it is, that's a straw, you see? You watching? And my straw reaches a crew. And starts to drink your milkshake. I drink your milkshake. I bring it up. Don't bully me, Dad. I suppose I'm a combination of an old man and a young child. Young children live to play. I think that's why I've always loved kids. Next year, I have the chance to combine this love with my immense loves for play for acting, for the theater, for creating. I have the chance to become more of a complete actor, artist, person, human. I have the chance to be pretty darn happy, but I need your help. One of my acting teachers, Lucas Caleb Rooney, recently traveled to Madagascar, a gorgeous exotic island adrift in the Indian Ocean, right off the eastern shore of Africa. He fell deeply in love with the people there and was astonished by the abject poverty they face. Over 80% of children ages 5 to 14 are poor, subsisting on less than $234 per year. He wanted to bring these children some laughter, some lightness, some hope, some compassion, some playtime. And so the nonprofit service organization Zara Aina was born. Its mission is to travel to Madagascar with a group of theater artists in January 2013. While there, Lucas and his team will produce a show based in Malagasy folktales, created by the street children of the nation's capital city, Antananarivo. They will provide the opportunity for these children to tour the country with their show. They will deliver educational aid, notebooks, pencils, chalkboards, chalk, crafts, and other school supplies. Finally, Zara Aina will begin the creation, in conjunction with Malagasy artists, of a self-sustaining, locally-run theater program for street children. A few weeks ago, I was asked to join the team. I was asked to come along on the trip. But I must raise $8,000 for the cost of one month of traveling, living, eating, and giving. So, if you have ever stood alone on the blacktop, shirt tucked in, I ask for your help. If your mother has ever reminded you to eat, I ask for your donation. If you have ever played with a child and wished you could have just stayed like that, then I ask for any amount you can spare, however large, however small. Click the link underneath this video to donate. Find me on Facebook for the link to donate. 
Email me at jsc444 at nyu.edu, and I'll send you the link to donate. Don't get me a Christmas present. Just donate. Don't get me a graduation present. Just donate. I thank you so much for your time and your patience and your kindness.